as, as a bleed. Very well done. Now at 40 years old, he's still showing up to the next generation of guys. He's giving up 11 years. So, he's getting nothing but five money. inches in here. For breakfast, <laughs> as your eggs are being cooked, you get all nervous. <laughs> I tend to overindulge at the buffet here. Oh my goodness! Hotel, you and I both. Here we go. No touching of the gloves. Kidioka no, wants Frank, nothing. Other than the obvious. I mean, even though. Oh God, is in regard. Yeah. New game. Despite the 20 submission. Well, they're all very, you know, armbar, triangle, yep. interlock. They're very basic. Not, I don't want to say basic, but the, basic, the ones that we learn yep. as white belts, the first, very first set of things. And, you know, Souza is very much more than that. He's different positions. I mean, his setups, ooh, oh, wow. he lands a right, and so does Kitioka. But Souza doesn't like to get hit. Kitioka doesn't mind getting hit. This is where punches. technique is extremely important. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that, he rolls for the leg. Trying to use that for a takedown. And now it's Kitioka. He's elbow down. Ooh. Yeah, I know, right? And this is not where he wants to be. Well, he's smart. He's back up to the top position. He's cut. His knees worked. Underhook here by Kitioka. Oh. He's cut wide open. There's a big split. Those, those knees work, too. I will be utterly in awe if I see a replay and those knees landed like that. to know look at where the cut is is it above the eye i'd like to get a different camera angle here we can't see it from where we are it wasn't that neat because i had nope. it on the right side yeah nope that jason herzog is informing us it is a big a cut because you can't see it's a huge problem because the blood will drip right into his eye keep just staring at it he's hunting now uh, he's smart. He keeps walking into that knee, though. Go for a takedown here. Bail out. Bail out through your head. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. You gotta get in the position where he's you able do to pass the guard. When you end up on top, you have to be able to strike for the guy like that. If you can't start striking against Souza, he's gonna just have a bad position for Kyoko to try to take him down. Kyoko trying to get around the referee. There it is. <laughs> running into his elbow. Oh, you can see the wobbliness there. Again, he's loading up for that right kick. This was a nice jab. Let's not act like we're surprised. Soon as needs a jab. Just keep jabbing him. You can just or see him kick him. Yeah. <laughs> that you can just see him turn that right foot behind and then just spin it out. Sosa is actually doing a very good job of, of cutting off the space. The distance is diminishing, diminishing these two. They're getting closer and closer. Despite the fact the power that Kidoka brings. Sosa throwing those jabs, throwing more strikes, landing those lefts non-stop. These guys are throwing bombs here. He's stepping in, he's getting his little jabs and little jabs. He steps inside Kiyoka hits with two big heavy shots. Nice head kick. Oh. Jumping knee there, trying to catch him off the ropes. Hit him in the eye. Round one has come to an end. Roberto Satoshi Sosa. Ten. Keep jabbing, keep him on the outside. Don't charge him. He's going to come time he comes in, he's going to try and shoot. You want to use that to your advantage. Don't be scared. Don't try to stop the takedown. Let him take you down. Okay. Start if I'm in Kiyoka's corner, I'm telling him you have to keep moving your head left and right. You can't keep down the center because you're going to keep catching those jabs. You're going to send guard and in a position to strike and try to finish. Well, clearly, he's got no fear in exchanging toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. But the strain, despite the fact that his opponent's 
That his opponent has more submission victories than he does. World Brazilian Jiu Jitsu champion. The strength belongs there. He's got to be very careful with that gash over his left eyebrow. Or on his left eyebrow. He lands a right hand there. Nice job there. He doesn't like to get hit. So he's going to tell Back in the way and like flailing in his defense, but he's so much longer. He's able to catch him. Keep him out, keep him out. Eventually he's going to shoot on you. Get the Oko with a nice take down there. Now this doesn't really, it wouldn't concern so so much. Oh, but he's allowed oh. to strike. We saw that. Now he's stopping it. They're going to have a look at Kitioka. Oh, that's a nice gash. Into round number two. First round, it was Sosa getting checked up higher. It's eyelid. Yeah, it's eyelid. Who's uh, just told us it's eyelid? Oh, just a beautiful punch. <laughs> Great shot. Just a perfectly placed right yeah, hand. He ate it, he's walking right through it. Okay, we have lots to go here in the second round. Putting it up. You know there's a kick coming. There it is. Wow, he's throwing some combinations. Just not sitting on those punches. Yeah, that's his whole game. He's learning, it's a process. But he threw four punches and three of them got through. Look at the Oka. Hammer fist. Trying to get past the legs of his opponent, wanting He's going for a leg lock now. Oh, there, dehydration now. This is just the moment is all he needs. Under three minutes to defend. So far, doing so good, but stabilization there, looking for that armbar, looking for that triangle choke as well. Is Sosa? Now he's got the arm. Kitioka trying to get it out. He does a great job getting out there. Now wow. he's stacking it. It's, it's, I don't remember anybody. I could be wrong. I don't know if historians are correct. A sweatier could be more difficult. You know, the best way to start off, all of a sudden, it changes everybody's game a little bit. Now we're seeing some combinations oh, wow. there. Oh, the beautiful punch there by Sosa. He's dropped. Kitioka going there for the finish. He gets he at least a TKO. Wow. Roberto Satoshi Sosa with a stunning finish here. At Ryzen 15. Be able to and stick with it, stick out of his element, and use his hands to fight. Whenever he knew he was a grappler, that's incredible. And you saw him in the beginning of the first round. He started landing more and more around, started landing more and more combos, and here we are to finish. With all due respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was going to happen. Unbelievable performance. There's the opportunity he had to though. Didn't need it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who says you can't throw a twelve punch combination in MMA? Look at that. I mean, the technique is not a hundred percent into them. It's the twelfth one that drops them. Thirteen, fourteen to finish them off. Referee said no. We are done. Great job. Great job by the officials. Great job by the involved. Just looking over at Kitioka right now, he looked at his corner and basically asked, what happened? What's, what, what, what just happened there? That is what happened. Oh, that is a gash. Jason Herzog was right the bound. That, that's got to be an inch and a half there. Give his kids something to poke on while they're stomping on his lap. Oh, my. Kids soccer up in Canada. How the Last game uh, of, the, last, of the season, right? The last okay. season took place uh, yesterday morning, and uh, happy to say my assistant coach to and I thought that was going to happen. Unbelievable performance. There's the opportunity he had Didn't to need it, though. Didn't need it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who says you can't throw a 12 punch combination in MMA? Look at that. I mean, that technique is not 100% power into them. It's the 12th one that drops him. 13, 14 to finish him off. Referee said, no, we are done. Great job. Great job by the officials. Great job by the involved.